David Chang just said that Las Vegas is the best food city in the world. Not only that, he said the best Chinese food in the country is in Las Vegas. And that was a controversial statement. Let's talk about it. Let's run the clip. Vegas has everything, man. And I am going to say this. I think Vegas is the best eating city in America. What does it not have? Off the strip, on the strip, it's got everything. It's got every fast food. Pizza's gotten better. It's got great seafood. I would say the Chinese food in America, the best Chinese food in America is in Las Vegas. It's got all the steakhouses. Over the SGV? I would say yes. Oh my goodness, what a hot take. We're going to talk about what could be true about this. Obviously, we probably disagree with him, but make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, Andrew, because we are about to get into some deep cut regional Chinese food talk. Also, check out Smala Sauce. This is not Chinese food from Las Vegas, but hopefully you can buy it in Las Vegas soon. Well, you can order it if you live in Las Vegas, but anyways... Go on with the video. How can David Chang, as somebody who's respected in the food world, make a statement like this? Because he was violating on two ends, right? Saying that Las Vegas, which was, you know, up until the past 10 years, known as one of the worst food cities in America. I'm not saying, you worst, know, they- like big cities. You know what I mean? It was just about like buffets and stuff like sure, that. Sure, I'm not sure. saying over the past 10 years, there hasn't been a renaissance in Las Vegas. It's true. Like a lot of people are moving there. A lot of chefs are moving there. It's on a upward trajectory, but there's no way that it's better than places that have had Chinese people for like hundreds of years, right? right. Whether we're talking about Queens or like specifically the 626 SGV, the entire Bay I mean, area. I mean, I mean, you know, David, you know what the number one key ingredient is to having great Chinese restaurants, to having a lot of great Chinese restaurants? Do you know what it is you have to have a lot of chinese people right. now vegas has an increasing chinese population that's true and there's but, a lot of chinese gamblers but there. they don't have the amount of chinese people that sgv has which is multiple cities queens has queens new york or the bay area so it doesn't really make sense to me but but david chang is a renowned chef so let's dive into what he might mean by it and our own opinions because we've spent time in vegas right New York and LA. It is true that Las Vegas is the only city in America with a Mott 32. Mott 32 is a very expensive Hong Kong restaurant. What is it about like it's, 200, $300 per person for it, fried it, rice? It's a pretty good Chinese restaurant. I don't even know if it's the greatest one in the world, but it's pretty good. Is it true that Vegas does cater to a higher end consumer though? Like, you know what I mean? Obviously people coming in to spend money, they might want good food. So I guess any new restaurant they do open up, there's probably like one Shanxi noodle spot. There's probably like barely even one of each region, but it's probably a good version of it. Yeah, but I think a lot of, I'm not saying food in Vegas isn't good. I'm just saying, I think it's overpriced. And if you're paying $250 for a Peking duck, it better be good. If I'm in anywhere in the world, if I'm in London, you paying $200 for a Peking duck, it better be good. Right, you're saying that there is good top end Chinese food in well, Las Vegas. Because I think Vegas, and here's my opinion, I think Vegas does attract a lot of the top chefs to open up a restaurant there. So you are gonna get very high-end food. I think the ceiling for food, I mean, listen, if the top Italian chef comes to Vegas and opens up a restaurant, you can bet the Italian food is pretty good. Does that count as good Italian food? If you're paying like $70 for a pasta dish? I don't know, I guess that still counts, but that doesn't mean that 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 has the breadth of food, you know? Right, right, right. Anyway, I did some research, Andrew, into the Chinese restaurant scene in Las Vegas because okay. at first I was just like, yo, David Chang is just talking crazy. Mm -hmm. And I had to see, if is there anything to what he's saying? Okay, okay. So here we <coughs> have the 16 essential Chinese restaurants in Las Vegas, pop up that list. I did some Yelp searching. So it looks like they got a few high-end spots, especially that opened up in the past five years. So here's, <laughs> here's the only thing I'll give David Chang, Andrew. Theoretically, if this arc that Las Vegas has been on improving its Asian food or specifically Chinese food over the past five years were to continue, then Las Vegas theoretically, if they continued that arc and extrapolated it out, could be one of the best Chinese food cities in America. It could, and I think it will take some time. But because so many Chinese like to go to Las Vegas, more Chinese are moving to Las Vegas. The Chinese Vegas, like to gamble a lot. Yeah, then you will have the populations and the desire for high-end or really good Chinese food. But to say it's the best Chinese food, you can't just judge it off the top end restaurant. And first of all, you know, I mean, yeah, these restaurants are all really good. Um, but obviously a lot of these other restaurants like Mian, you can find that in SGV. That, right, right, that right. Little, that was, 
Um, and also, come on, Andrew, Ping Pang Pong. You're saying Ping Pang Pong? It's not, makes... That's not that good of a restaurant, guys. I ate there. I literally eaten at Mott 32, too. Um, so, anyway, let's just get into the comment section here. Some people were mad at David Chang because he got famous in New York City. Yeah. So, a lot of people were like, bro, it's New York City and it's no competition. That is the best food city in the world. I mean, you're just like way off base here. And somebody said, this guy has really lost his way, man. He has become the Kanye of food opinions. Yeah. No, honestly, when it comes to SGV, guys... Uh, SGV might have the best Chinese food. I think it wins. I think it wins even over Queens, just Queens in general, but not by a lot, but I think it does beat it out. No, the food in 626 SGV from Monterey Park to Roland Heights, the density yeah. is incredible. And we're just not even talking about Chinese food. We're talking I mean, about Chinese liter- diasporic foods and all these we're, other we're things. We're talking about an area that spans across what, maybe like nine miles, 10 miles, 15 miles. I would say 20. I think it's 20 miles if, long. Especially if, you, if it ends at Diamond Bar. And yeah. it's starting to, there's starting to be good restaurants in like Chino Hills and stuff. I mean, stuff. you're talking about Valley Boulevard. You could just keep driving on Valley or Las Tunas. Las Tunas right. will take you to the, the other end of Well, SGV. that's why like, you had to leave a comment, right? You yeah, had, I had, you had to leave. So I said, there's no way that Vegas, there's absolutely no way that Vegas has the depth and diversity and the amount and the value of Chinese dishes as SGV or Queens or even the Bay Area. But... Right, some of the top chefs, you're going to get some good Chinese chefs. So there's going to be certain dishes that are really good. But like I said, if you're paying $300 for Peking Duck, I don't care if I'm in Dubai, if I'm in London, if I'm in Hong Kong, if I'm in Vegas or Nebraska, if you're paying $300 for Peking Duck in Nebraska, it better be good. Right. Somebody said, are you sure Las Vegas is the best food city in America? It's like the food court of America. And other people were like, yeah, I'm actually born and raised in Las Vegas. It's only 2.2 million people, and pretty much all the good restaurants are three miles within the Strip. So um, there's just no way this could possibly be true. Well, David, by calling it the food court of America, that's actually really funny because all all the buffets that they have are kind of like, food courts of the world too, right? Right, like even, uh, what's it called, uh, Raffle World? You know, the Asian one, it's uh, the Asian hotel. Metropolitan? Oh, oh no, you're talking about the uh, the, the Malay, the, the, Malaysian the hawker one. stall, yeah, yeah. yeah, the hawker stall. But I guess what I'm saying is like, does it count if it's like a Dubai type situation or a Vegas type situation where they open up the most popular chain from almost any state or any country and they open it up there? Does that count? as it being a great food city, or are you just taking on the best restaurants as a food court type thing? I I don't know. Like, does that count? I don't know. It's like a... I guess it's like maybe that question is kind of hard to understand. Some people actually agreed with him. Dave has remained consistent on his opinion for years. Love it. And the argument is solid. Someone said it's the best because they don't tolerate filth and crime and every chef is moving there. And then, uh, of course, other people were throwing their names in the hat. Uh, You know, New Orleans people were chiming in being like, New Orleans is the best food city. I'll say this. New Orleans is a very good food city. Yeah. But somebody said, uh, yeah, you just have 5,000 restaurants with the same menu there, though. (laughs) <laughs> that's not I, funny. I, I don't know how to judge the best food city, but I just, that's why we got to focus on the Chinese food because I understand how to judge people on the best Chinese food. And to me, David, the best Chinese food city has to have like a lot of Chinese restaurants. It has to have high and has to have low, mm. like high end, low end Chinese food. And it has to have a diverse regional Chinese right. food. And it even has to have high end and low end of those regions. Yeah. Like in 626, you can go to a cheap Dongbei spot, a medium tier one, and an expensive Dongbei exactly, spot. Exactly, yeah. Um, somebody just said, man, this guy is just making hot takes to drive engagement. It's literally all marketing. And then somebody's saying, man, it's just because uh, David Chang moved to Las Vegas and has a bunch of businesses there. Uh, <laughs> do you think he was trolling? Like, because he knew that this was going to go viral, right? Uh, you know, I just think he figures that if he feels it and it's going to benefit him, it's not like the... He could have said worse things about Chinese right. food, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, it's not that bad, but I, I just think it did spark a debate. And I don't know what his argument is, though. Like, what's the rest of his argument? Why does it lost... Other than, like, I guess a lot of chefs are moving there. I guess if there is a Chongqing noodle spot like Mian in Las Vegas, it'll be, like, one of the higher-end Chongqing noodle yeah, spots. Yeah, I'm sure David Chang also eats at a lot of nice restaurants. So I think, like, to me... If, 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 if you have to spend like $100 a person for Chinese food for these top-end chefs, I guess, does that mean it's the best Chinese food? Like, 
I mean, really? Like, if you have to overpay for stuff? Right, right, right. I don't know. Anyway, anyway. let's just uh, shout out to some of the spots in the 626, Andrew. Boston Lobster or Newport Seafood. Delicious. This Chiu Chow style, it's uh, part Cambodian, it's part Vietnamese, it's part Chiu Chow Chinese. Delicious. Bistro Nas, Andrew. Mm. Based off uh, Beijing Imperial, like, really emperor good. food, right? Savoy. Savoy is, like, the OG, probably, like, the best cheap spot in America, right? Yeah, really good. Uh, Lou's Garden. This is actually our mom's favorite I spot. I love Lou's Garden, man. A lot of uh, Joe. I bet they Chifan. don't have a Lou's Garden in Vegas. They don't? I don't, I don't think so. Because if you guys know about Lou's Garden, you basically get these hot dishes, and then they give you a bunch of uh, kanji. Yeah. But it's uh, Jirong. Jirong is actually a high-end Dongbei spot mm. in 626. Andrew, Mama Lou's is, like, really, like, the best deal you can get right, in right, terms right. of just value per dollar, <laughs> right? Um, Roland Heights has a ton of Wagyu restaurants. You know, I just don't, I don't know why, why there's so many Wagyu restaurants in Roland Heights. And then here's just a bunch of other spots that we mm. threw in there because, you know, we can't get to everything. You, they don't got chill gel noodles in, in, in uh, dude, Vegas, this, man. Dude. Hui um, Shang is incredible. Anyway, guys, um, Andrew, ultimately you commented on this post. I think Vegas Chinese food is getting better. If that's what he's trying to say. Right. I think it's Cle fair to clearly, say. Clearly it's probably improving it's very quickly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that. In time, you're going to have more diverse Chinese restaurants there, Chinese products there. But it's just not there yet. Come on, man. How can it be? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't, the math is not mathing, is, as they would say. Right. Whoa, David, you were pretty mad about this statement. I mean, I guess in a way, if he was just trolling, then I guess it makes sense. But uh, yeah, obviously, I, I just thought it was such a wrong statement. But like, you know, he is trying to get clicks on his podcast and he got us talking. I'll, about it, so. I'll be. I'll, I'll. I'll say this. Probably anything that opens up in Las Vegas now, probably is like fairly clean and kind of expensive. Right. I and it's less cheesy it than it used to be, right? Because Las yeah. Vegas used to have this reputation that it was very much like, uh, you know, like dreamland for like middle America. Yeah. But now it's almost like America's Dubai. Like I could you said. see in fifteen or ten to fifteen years this statement being more true if all the top chefs continue to move. And you happen to be rich yourself, and you have all the money to spend, then there's probably going to be a lot of really good Chinese restaurants just all over. Right, right, right. Of right. different, well, maybe Ma, of different. Yeah, Moss Thirty Two is probably one of the best Chinese restaurants in America, yeah. in a way. Especially, it's kind of like got that party Hakkasan Nobu vibe, but better food. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Do you agree? Disagree? What was David Chang thinking? And let us know out of the three spots that have the best Chinese food, whether we're talking about the Bay Area, um, six two six SGV, or Queens, New York. How do you rank those three? I think uh, Seattle's kind of a sleeper pick too. Houston as well. Anyway, let us know what you think. We encourage the debate. Until next time, we're gonna hop out, boys. We out. Peace.